Hello everyone, happy Halloween to all of those who celebrate and if you go out at night, make sure that you are staying safe and that you enjoy yourself. This message is going to be what is the next good news that is coming in your life. So we have pile number one represented by the angel clear quartz. Pile number two is this pyrite crystal and pile number three is this beautiful jade container. I forget the name. When I bought it, they told me the name, but I forgot. So um, yeah, we're going to go with Jade. So let's see. Uh, like always, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Something doesn't fit. Do not force it to fit. Just let it go. Que te resvale. With that being said, um, everything, all my information, timestamps, all of that is always in the description box below. Thank you to everyone who joined the Reiki Circle. We have sold out. Thank you to everyone who ordered candles and thank you to everyone who has ordered readings as well uh yeah so thank you very much so let's get started with pile number one hello pile number one if you chose this beautiful angel quartz this is your message so what is the next good news that is coming in i am seeing someone toast toasting to something so i feel like this is really good news something you've been wanting something you've been hoping for so a major milestone for sure. If you have been expecting any type of news, I see these news coming in and they're going to be good. They're going to be in your favor. Someone here plays the snake game. I'm, I'm seeing the snake game. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. But that's what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing, yeah, there's some type of a contract coming in. Okay, so some of you are signing a contract because I'm seeing the seventh house, which is the house of Libra. So for some of you, maybe you're reconnecting with the Libra. Maybe you yourself are a Libra. But again, the seventh house is also the house of partnerships, contracts. And so I feel like there is something in regards to that, that you are going to receive good news here. I just heard someone wants to partner up with you. Okay. So let's have a look here. Let's see. <clears throat> Pile number one. Number uno. The world card. Look, speaking of Libra, this is Taurus energy. Okay, pile number one. Look at you. So what is your next good news? Either you're expecting you're becoming a mom. There's something about your creative project that is going to... Um, I'm seeing the energy or hearing the word. It's finally going to be birth. So this could be like something, let's say, that you have been working behind the scenes. This could be something that you've been protecting, right? Kind of like a mother protects their child. It's something that has been in a period of incubation, but it's finally ready to see the light is what I'm getting here. For others of you, the good news is there is going to be a reconnection with the Taurus or a Libra because we do have judgment here. So either you're the Libra, you're the Taurus making a judgment call. For others of you, I do see here that you're going to be letting go of things that are toxic. Because when I think of judgment, it's like you calling judgment on yourself. So whether this is, you know what, this habit is not good. I've been overspending. I have a vice that I need to get, get under control. Things like this, okay? There is like a complete renewal of your life is also what i'm getting here i'm also hearing forgiveness so i don't know if this is forgiveness towards yourself or forgiveness towards somebody else but i am seeing that also good news that you are receiving uh if you if you've been wanting something from let's say a mother figure or someone who is a mother again there's going to be a wish fulfillment in regards to that here with the nine of cups also with cancer cancer sign cancer sun moon or rising as well if you have any le legal situations going on or any type of applications, again, it's going to go in your favor. Okay, it's what it looks like here. It's going to go in your favor. The tribe. So there's a lot of good news in regards to your home, your living situation here. For some of you, you will be going out to travel as well. There's something about a child saying goodbye to their parent here. I always look at it like this. Um, I feel like for some of you, it's like you're finally leaving your family home or you're moving away to study or, you know, it's like finally I got the new place that I wanted. So for some of you, again, there's good news in regards to that here. The observer. Yeah, it's kind of like you've been waiting, right? This is what I, what it feels like. Like you've been waiting for something and you kind of been keeping your eye on it. You're like, when am I, when am I reaching my star? You know, it feels, it's like, I'm so close, but yet so far. I feel like you're getting to the next stage here. 
You're going to move from being the observer to, you know, um, having action or taking action. We have the body here. So for some of you, the good news is that for some of you, like I said, there is something in regards to your body, to your health that maybe was a concern to you. You're going to be receiving good news in regards to that, okay? Synchronicity. Let's see what else do we have here. Burden. <clears throat> you're letting go of a burden you're letting go of something because i do feel like you've been working real hard with this ant here you've been working real hard you've been doing the work you've been you know putting in those long hours you're about to get rewarded for that okay so if there's something here at work or like i said if you have a case or something and you've been you know making sure that all your papers are in line and that you have everything in order again there's going to be good news in regards to that but anything that you've been putting in your hard work that you've been committed to because it's something that you've been wanting to birth for a while is what i'm getting here integration i'm also getting this energy here of i feel like this goes hand in hand the reason why you've been in this observer seat is because you have been integrating different aspects of self maybe even shadow here with the judgment or things that again that were a little bit difficult for you or things that you had to release right because the judgment card we do see here the woman is the sense of like you know letting go of an old self transcending in some way here as well i'm trying to see hold up integration what this little deck says there is an airplane above my my place right now so I feel like things are going to take off for you. So if things were kind of stuck or you were in a rut, I feel like things are about to take off. Things are going to start moving forward. Okay, let's see. Something that you've been having trouble finding, you're about to find it. Or it's about to make sense to you is what I'm getting here. Number 40 might be significant. I don't know why I'm getting that. 40, the number four, which four to me is about stability, structure, strong pillars. The integration card says, have you found them within you? So something again, and I posted about this yesterday on IG. You've been looking for the key when you have been the key this whole time. So for a lot of you, there was something that you were looking external to you. That's why you needed to be in the observer seat for a little bit, just because you needed to go within in order for you to find out that what you're looking for is within yourself. Okay, that's for some of you here. Um, let's see. I feel for others of you, you are finding the way to move forward. You're finding the way to take the next step. And again, this is going to put you in this uh, energy of wish fulfillment and so much peace and so much harmony. Look at this witch right here by the beach, right? She's like relaxed. She has her cups behind her. Um, the waves are nowhere like they're kind of near her tower there or castle. But it's nothing like even the waves are coming in very like very harmonious nothing to i feel like if you've been going through tower moments or things like this this is going to ease out things are going to become more calm but that is what i have for you pile number one take care of yourselves stay safe and i will see you in the next video bye hello pile number two if you chose pyrite this is your message so let's have a look what is the next good news that you're about to receive okay so the first thing i'm getting is there is something coming back around that you're going to need boundaries with, okay? That's, I don't know, that's that's part of your message here. I feel like for others of you, you're going to be seen through an illusion. And this is actually a good thing. This is actually a really good thing because um, you're able to see things clearly. And, you know, when you're stuck in an illusion, it makes it harder for you to, A, see things clearly and set the boundaries that you need to set. But because you see things clearly and that illusion is going to be shattered, as I'm saying that the ambulance made um, made noise. And so um, there's this energy of like your guide saying, okay, just watch out for that. Just make sure you have boundaries in place. But let's see what else is coming through. Yeah, because that's going to be important. So I don't know if someone's going to be like, uh, maybe, yeah, breathe. <clears throat> you had to breathe. Okay.
Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. For some of you, you want to do breathing. For others of you, I feel like you need to take a pause uh, before when the situation comes about just because your guides are saying protect your peace. But the good news that are, that is coming in is maybe that's a validation for some of you. Maybe some of you have been picking up like, you know, I've been picking up this person's energy, you know, and so you're going to get that validation like your intuition was correct. Okay. Second here, um, make sure you're protecting your peace. But part of your good news is that you are receiving peace. Yes, yeah, strength card. The seven of pentacles. Act of love here and now. Yes, okay, you have to be grounded. You have to be grounded. Compassion. And the strength card is very similar to that compassion, energy, anger. And then we have shine on. Okay, so pile number two, very interesting energy. What is the good news that is coming in? Either this energy already came in, either this is things from the past. I don't know what this is, but with the wasp here, there is this energy of, I feel like you're going to be releasing a lot of anger in a healthy way. Okay, you're going to be releasing it. You're going to be transmuting it. For some of you, you have already been doing this. But I feel like the good news that is coming in is that you're finally making peace with something. You're making peace with something. I feel like for some of you or someone around you has been harboring anger because we do have the seven of pentacles with the anger. And then we have the strength card, which shows uh, two different faces to this feminine energy here. And so I feel like here you're going to have the opportunity to choose compassion instead of anger. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so... I feel like your guides are wanting you to be grounded in this situation, right? To be in the here and the now. I feel like your guides are saying it's this is going to be good. The fact that it's coming back around is going to be good. Why? Because it's going to allow you to unburden yourself. It's going to allow you to finally bury this situation for good and say your peace. I don't know if this person is coming in with anger. I don't know if this person is coming in with some type of like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but their energy feels like it's angry. And your guys are saying, look, choose compassion and move on. Choose compassion and shine on. Do not pay attention to this energy is what I'm getting here. Do not let this, um, this energy bring you down. I'm getting this energy of like, just take a deep breath. Choose peace choose peace and choose your freedom is what i'm getting here pile number two so the good news is again you're going to finally be able to lay something to rest um, you're going to be able to say your peace in this situation and go on a new path is what i'm getting here for others of you also this energy of anger it's coming because you have been investing in something with the seven of pentacles you have been investing in something and i feel like you're going to make peace with it. There's a sense of like peace. I'm making peace with it, JJ. And I'm choosing to be in the here and the now and not worry too much about the, the past or the future, but just taking it day by day. Because your future is built in the present moment. And so I feel like the good news is that you're going to be finding peace in this situation. For some of you, this is a Leo that's coming back. For others of you, this is an Aries with the full energy here. I feel like also this sense of transmuting, okay? Transmuting anger. I'm going to shuffle an angel deck that I have here. Yeah, there's something about your intuition. It's, it's this energy of like, I knew it. I was picking it up. So that's the good news. Also, I do see here that something that you have been nurturing is like finally going to take off with the Fool and the Shine On card. It's like you're finally releasing yourself from the things that were holding you back. Because again, you're in this energy of like, I'm going to stay present, you know? I see many of you also, the good news is you're going to be receiving the green light to move forward with something here. Let's see. Anything else that wants to come through? Any other good news? Look, breathe. For some of you want to do breath work, okay? Or you want to teach it or host events around that. That's going to take 
off for you, okay? That's going to work out for you. If you've been wanting to do this just for your own personal healing, again, I feel like this is going to be really good for you to like let go of the things that you've been carrying in your body. I also feel here for many of you, you're going to receive good news in regards to maybe taking a trip or an investment. Something is paying off is what I'm getting here. And more balance is coming in. Yeah, like I said, look, you can't make it up. Some of you are receiving good news about traveling. You get a ticket at a low price or, um, you know, also even relocating for some of you. Yeah, there's communication in regards to that or communication from abroad as well. But for others of you, like I said, because you're letting go of things, it's like this energy of like, I now see the truth. Remember when I said about the illusion? It's like you now see the truth, so you're able to shine on. You're able to do your thing and go about like your your life without a care is what I'm getting here. Um, anything else? Okay, they wanted me to read this card here. Hold on. Shine on. Number 15. Again, there's some devilish energy here. A Capricorn, something like this. I feel for some of you, okay, the good news that is coming in is you're allowing yourself to finally bask in the sun. I feel like there was a lot of anger here that was not allowing you, that was playing like this devilish energy in your life, that was not allowing you to be free. It was not allowing you to enjoy the good things in your life. But I feel like you're making peace with it. And with the card shine on, it's like things are being illuminated for you. Now you're going to know where to invest, where not to invest. Also, it's going to be shining a light to, I would say, double-faced double, double -faced energy here or two-faced energy. I feel like also you're coming back into alignment. And you're finally going to be able to like breathe, to be in your own rhythm. But that is what I have for you, pile number two. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye. Hello, pile number three. This is your message. So if you chose this beautiful jade crystal, this is your good news. What good news is coming into your life? The first thing I'm seeing is a throne. I feel like you're going to be able to sit in your throne or there's something here about um, the throne for you. I'm also getting the sense of evolution. I'm also getting the sense of a gift, something precious being given to you, some type of information as well. So let's see. We're going to start off with, I want to choose tarot. Good news, good news, good news. So you've been manifesting more help, more assistance. That is coming in. You've been manifesting more finances. That is coming in. I'm also getting here. There's a sense of like the ebb and the flow, right? This is looking like the infinity symbol. And the magician is known for having the infinity symbol. Just like he has it here in his hood. So it's like you are tapping into infinite possibilities for yourself. It's like your awareness has expanded. You're seeing different roads, different paths, different avenues for you to manifest, to collaborate with others or for others to collaborate with you the universe to collaborate with you as well we have the moon so there's something about okay pile number three this is a powerful new moon that we're having and if you do anything like witchy if you do anything like let's say a candle a vanyo or just set your intentions right if you're like i'm not into candle work i'm not into vanyos then set your intentions write it down or just in your mind decretalo like say it, it's going to work out for you, okay? Because I feel like this new moon, I just heard the little kid outside say, yeah, um, it's going to be powerful for you, pile number three. Very powerful because you're tapped in to the sea. This probably resonated with the message that I posted on Instagram because that was the same card. Unfinished symphony. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like it's because you wrapped up some type of, of a cycle or of a karmic situation here. Maybe October 7th was significant for you guys. 
Could be. For some of you, there's something about music, okay? Music is taking off or things are just going to be in a beautiful, uh, harmonious symphony, if you will. Wise guy. Okay. This is very much like magician Mercury energy where you are very wise. You are very crafty. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe your spirit animal is a fox. But also what I will say here, um, for some of you, there is an unfinished business with a particular person who embodies the qualities of this wise guy. Someone who thinks that they're going unnoticed, but really you are aware of their energy. That's for some of you. But for others of you, there's something about business. There's something about business that is coming back around. And for others of you, there's new business coming in. There might be a new person. Didn't I say someone's sitting in their throne? And this gentleman is sitting there. Maybe you just got new sunglasses. I don't know. We got change here. So there's news about a change. Because to the sea is this energy of being in the flow. Okay. To the sea, the card itself is about trusting spirit. Trusting where spirit is taking you. Trusting the waves that are coming your way. So there is a, there's an opportunity that is coming in. And again, you are very wise to handle this. You are very wise. You have the skills. You have all the tools. You know how to work with energy. And your guides are saying you're going to do just fine. You're a powerful person. Pile number three. I mean, everyone is a powerful person. But your guides are wanting you to remind, to remind you of that. I don't know if it's because the moon energy is here. And the moon is insecurities. The moon is fears, is anxiety. It might even be depression. So for some of you, the good news may be, you know, you are receiving help for that. You're receiving a new medication or, you know, a new, a new healthcare professional, something like this. Okay, that's for some of you. But to the sea is also a card about possibilities. Not being afraid to go out and venture out. Do not be afraid of change. That is the big thing here. So what is the good news? Change is coming in. But you have to remember that you're wise. You got this. You're the magician. You can make something out of anything. Like, out of nothing. So believe in yourself. Okay, pile number three. Movement into balance. This change, your guys are wanting you to know. It's more like a guidance for you guys. This change that's coming in is going to help you to move into balance. To move to calmer waters. To move to, you know, a safe um Sure, if you will. Ooh, that makes sense. We have the Merkaba. For some of you, pay attention to where this uh, new moon is is happening. And I will be doing a pick a card in regards to that. Because it is happening in the portal, right? It is 11-1. So the Merkaba is about the the vehicle, the soul vehicle to move towards ascension. To move, it's kind of like, I want you to look at it kind of like the chariot, okay? For those who don't know about the chariot, it's about moving through obstacles. Number 38 might be significant. Yeah, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. There's something about this portal or the month of November that's going to be significant for you guys. Okay, so it says the Merkaba. Body or soul, mind and body. The connection points of the self. You are a vortex of brilliant light love that is currently manifested in a human body. Didn't I just say that? Do not doubt yourself. You're the magician. You're showing up as the magician. If you want it, you can make it happen. It says this is not, this does not limit you to only linear physical experiences on the earth plane. However, you can awaken different dimensions of the self and travel in your interdimensional field of light through transcendental meditation, astro travel, and intention setting. Didn't I say that? I said, set your intentions for this new moon. You guys, set your intention. Set your intention to what energies you're connecting to as well. Okay, make sure you have that, that boundary there, that protection there. But there's this, this new moon is going to be very powerful for you. Don't get weighed down by little things or maybe wise guy, wise girl type of energy, okay? Um, yeah, don't, don't let things irk you. 
because they are your teachers at the end of the day. Remain strong, remain in your energy, remain in your power is what I'm getting here for you guys. Yeah, because you're building something. You're building something new. Something powerful. Something something that, again, was unfinished. It's not finished. It's not finished because you're meant to build on top of something here. And you have this beautiful energy of the Merkel ball. Yeah. You have the ability to cultivate something out of love. Out of compassion. Like I said, you're, you are connected to high council. There's information coming in. I think I said that for your pile. There's some type of insight that is coming in. And again, the moon. The next moon cycles are going to be very important for you, pile number three. Very important, especially when it comes to relationships. Who are you giving your energy to? Who are you giving your time to? There's some type of truth being revealed. And they're not saying because it's going to be different for every single one. But there's something you've been reaping. There's something you've been manifesting and it's coming. It's coming full circle. But that is what I have for you, pile number three. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Bye.